Check it out, folks. I'm back at it again, and I'm cooking right out of the cookbook, right? Look, you see the ham. You didn't see the thumbnail. You didn't read the title. You know we doing that copycat honey glaze ham, right? Super easy, and I want you guys to take a look at all of these ingredients right here. Look, it's not a whole lot, and I'm going to keep it real simple for you. Listen, this is it, folks. And as always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. So let's get it. This is the key to making everything so simple. Look, that's honey, that's my butter. I'm getting ready to melt that, right? And look, I'm gonna pull this out the way. I'm gonna just address this. This comes with your ham. I'm telling you guys, don't, you can use this if you want to, but if you want it to come out and be fire, hey, trust me, get these ingredients, let's make it. So I'm gonna set this off to the side. I usually save it and use it for something else. Look, you see, I got my crock pot, right? I went ahead and just preheated this and got it on, I put it on high, you know what I mean? Cause I want it nice and hot. I'm only gonna use, put this in the crock pot for just, uh, let's just say, we're gonna do it for two hours, right? Cause we doing it on high. Reason being, don't forget on the uh, holiday, everybody's not gonna have one of these, you know, double ovens, right? So if you don't, this right here becomes premium, you know, real estate. So instead of using this and trying to do everything in your oven, I'm giving you guys options, right? Just like I did the candy gowns, we did them in the pot. You know what I mean, the saucepan, now we finna do the ham. You got it. So, I got my honey. We'll just go ahead and pour that in there just like that. All right? Go ahead and just mix this as best you can. You know, you wanna get your honey and your butter going. You know? This is it. It's only gonna mix, you know, so far, you know what I mean? But you still wanna start it and do it like that. Don't do like me and lose none of that, none of your butter. You just wanna get it going just like what you see. Cause what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that brush next to me and we finna brush and put that in between each one of these spiral slices. Okay, so once you got it mixed as best as you can get it, remember this is spiral cut already, right? So notice how I'm just separating these, running my hand like that. I just want it to be able to go all the way down. Now when they spiral cut them, when it gets down to that bone in the center, they kind of like stop right there and they go around it, right? So I'm just opening this up. Why? Because I want to get some of that butter and honey down in here too as we heating it up. And just in case you guys didn't know, I mean, you should know that these are already pre-cooked, you know? What we're doing is heating them up and just infusing it with a little bit of that flavor. Get yourself a brush. I just brush it on the top like this, right? But really, you wanna open it up the way we had it, and we wanna brush on the flesh of the meat. Just like this. And this is the flavor that we gonna have once we taste it. You know, once we put this in between a sandwich or put these on the plate next to that dressing and all of that. Okay, so remember I told you guys, I went ahead and preheated, you know, my slow cooker, right? Now you wanna take it, notice I'm holding it over here on this end like this, right? Maybe I gotta hold it this way. And what I wanna do is I wanna put it down, face down. Ah, yeah, that's what we want. I can hear it sizzling. Okay, so look, remember I said we are gonna do it on high, right? So we'll go to high cook, we are gonna go two hours. We just go up to two. I really wanna do two and a half, but that'll be good right there. Then we hit start, and I'll see you guys in two hours. Okay, so look, my ham is about ready to come out, right? I think I got like maybe about five or six more minutes left. This is what we're gonna do. You know the rest of the ingredients we have? We got the sugar and the rest of our spices, it's real simple. These are the kind of things that make it super simple, folks. Check it out, we just pour. You know, I usually like to use the term dump and go, right? So you wanna get yourself a, you know, a whisk. That'll be the most efficient way to do it, right? That's it right here. Oh man, that just kicked back some aromatics. That's just amazing. So we're just gonna just go ahead and give this a nice blend. You guys can look right there. This is what we want. Some people like to use brown sugar, you know what I mean? But we making our own. You see how it's turning brown on its own? But that's all your spices. Now it's time to take this out. Look, this is gonna be hot. I got me some forks. So the challenge is really just getting this out. You know what I mean, you wanna get it out and then you wouldn't wanna put it here, but we wanna put it this way. We want our spiral, we want it to have the face back this way, right? So let me go ahead and get this out and then I'm gonna show you what we do. Hey, 
so you see how that look and i know some of you guys you can let me know down in the comment section below a lot of y'all didn't even know you can make a uh, ham inside of a crock pot huh hey but with that being said check this out now you want to go ahead and turn your oven on we want to set our oven look to broil and we want to start it right and let me go ahead and turn my light on what we're going to do is we're going to put some heat on it you know what i mean and we're going to use what we put on here i'm going to show you that but this right here is key you see this right here do not discard that i got a spot for you just hold on stay with me what we want to do is we want to take a little bit of this and we're just going to sprinkle this just over the top real you know just kind of like lightly right i'm gonna open it up a little bit but i want to make sure i get it all over the edges you guys are going to thank me later now i'll just peel this open you know what i mean we got to get in here we got to be a little careful all right so i just put a little bit in here just a little bit open up another layer we put a little bit in there and then we do all the rest of them like that make sure it's everywhere right then we're gonna put it in the broiler and we're gonna watch it soon as it look like it's about to bubble i got something else for you Okay, so look, if you look behind me, look, I set my ham right there. I'm still bringing my oven up to broil, right? Meanwhile, look, remember I said, don't change nothing. Don't throw nothing away. You remember this right here? Check this out, folks. We finna pour that in there just like this. Now we finna make a sauce. We finna make it honey glaze. So look, I'm gonna start off on a medium, medium high heat. Get this up to a boil, right? Once I get some heat in here, we finna remember this. We finna add that to that. We get a whisk, we mix it, and this is gonna be our mix, our candy mixture right here. Okay, now that I got that up to temp, look at that. Nice little smooth, little low boil, right? Now I'm gonna come in here like this, and we just finna go ahead and get this going, just like that. Now we gonna let it come up to a boil again. Once it does, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna cut, set it down for a simmer. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to just cook down and thicken up. Not too thick, because we finna take this and start glazing that ham. Okay, so we multitasking, right? We bringing that up. That's gonna be thick in just one second. And what I'm gonna do here and now is I'm gonna stick this in here and we're gonna keep our eye on it, folks. We don't wanna burn the edges. Put it in, make sure you got a light inside your oven. You know what I mean? And check this out. Okay, take a look at this right here. This is what we wanna get right here. You see that? Look at them edges right there. That's where the sugar started to caramelize and all of that on top of there. That's what we want, folks. Okay, so you can see, you know, just what you're gonna come up, you know what you're gonna have, right? I'm gonna go ahead and do this for you right now to just make y'all just say, ooh wee. You know what I mean? You wanna talk about it ain't fair? You see how that is? Look, oh, it's nice, juicy, pliable. But check this out. This down here, this that premium gold, folks. You wanna see it's the consistency, right? You see that? Mm -hmm. Check this out, folks. Cheers. This right here is fire, folks. Now, I'm just trying to think like ways we can like level this up even more. I guess I could have put some pineapple juice inside of this, cook that down, just sort of have the hint of that pineapple. But I promise you guys, try it like this. And if you ever had one of them honey baked hams, I think this one right here, if it don't beat it, it'll come in a tie. I'll just say that. I don't like to say nothing bad about nobody, you know what I mean, or their products, but this right here is fire. You see how it is. And if you don't believe me, you can see, look at that edge right there. And you guys saw me put it all in between each uh, slice. Hey, I'm not finna over talk it. This is it. There it is in the cookbook again, you know what I mean? Go ahead, copy yourself one of these cookbooks, right? Hey, with that being said, let me just say this. If you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what, folks? I want to keep it where your guy said that it ain't fair. Check it out. Now I'm out. Peace.